Good evening. Tonight, the Treasurer's Tax Acts. Business will save hundreds of millions as stamp duty on its transactions is scrapped in a bid to address the state's perilous employment. With all the budget details, Alan Murrell is at State Parliament. Alan, the government says it wants to give the private sector new life by stepping out of the way. Well, the Treasurer says that's the way to create jobs. He says this is the biggest tax cut that business in South Australia has ever seen. And what he's trying to do is generate the sort of entrepreneurial spirits that will be needed to create jobs in a state with the worst unemployment in the nation. It is the sort of thing that business has been asking for, but there are no guarantees. Tax reform is the centrepiece of a budget heavily skewed towards businesses. If you want to start a business, you want to buy a business or you want to grow a business, why should you pay tax on that activity? The results of the state tax review include abolishing stamp duty on all business property purchases by July 2018. That will make us the only state to do so. Also out non-real transfers such as intellectual property, goodwill and plant and property. As well, scrapping the Save the Murray levy, as announced yesterday, the total effect $670 million over four years. I'm unlocking those entrepreneurial spirits that in the South Australian community have grown this state to go out and grow even more. The payroll tax exemption for small business will be extended for a year, while low-income householders will now get the cost of living concession. But stamp duty will remain on residential property transactions. There's not much evidence to show that by removing stamp duty on residential property, you'll get any improvements in job numbers. Fees and charges, including public transport tickets, registration and licensing, rise by an average 2.4%. There's $165 million over four years for roads, including a new $55 million Gawler East connector and $50 million for child protection reforms. But with no new major saving initiatives, the budget surplus in the short term has been cut, growing more slowly towards a $1 billion debt will hit $6.5 billion within two years as the new Royal Adelaide Hospital is finished. And despite the tax incentives for business, there are no job creation guarantees. I know it is frustrating, but there are, it is very difficult to know what the economic impacts of this will be. The opposition says the budget forecast for jobs growth has actually been cut. This is not a jobs creation budget. The people uh, sitting at home that might be looking for a job will find no comfort in this budget whatsoever. And Tom Kutzen Tonus uh, doesn't believe this is a jobs creation budget. Business and community groups have had their first look at the budget. They say it is a document built heavily on hope. The hope that business will spend this money on creating jobs, not squirrel it away, as Rick Clappis reports. 120 industry body chiefs from all sides of politics converge to dissect the 2015 state budget and what's in it for them. Business may have been the headline winner, but even $670 million worth of tax cuts wasn't enough to please Business SA. So obviously we welcome the payroll tax relief for small business and some movement on stamp duty, but ultimately we were hoping for more. If we want to grow the economy and create jobs, that by itself isn't going to be enough. The message from nearly every sector that relies on employment from business was unanimous. There's no excuse not to invest in jobs. But frankly, now is the time for business to stand up. $670 million worth and we're looking forward to seeing the jobs created therefore. So long as the savings aren't absorbed by business. Look, it does fall short in terms of strategy and in terms of focus of government. Um, it's really a... In the end, there's a whole lot of faith that the business sector will deliver jobs from the incentives they've been given. The gradual abolition of stamp duty on commercial property brought a smile to faces of those representing real estate investors. The state government needs to be commended for taking an axe to one of the you know, biggest deadweight taxes in South Australia. But not scrapping stamp duty on residential homes was a sore point. The RAA unhappy about an increase in vehicle running costs. It'll be the dearest registration we've had by only by a couple of bucks. But if uh, if the motor accident commission is sold, there's always a potential for that to increase that as, as well. While the nurses worry health savings targets can't be achieved without a reduction in services. All of which we need to remember. Uh, would be occurring in an environment of increased demand. We haven't even had the flu season hit yet. You can't please everyone, but most were cautiously optimistic. Brett Clappers, 10 Eyewitness News.
So pretty much a mixed reaction. The Treasurer, Tom Kutsantonis, is briefing cross-bench party members at the moment. He would join us at 5.30 to address some of those concerns we've just heard.